Hi guys and welcome to another Strelok C++ tutorial. I just woke up so this is going to be a hard one. Um, uh, yeah, Ugh. let's see, today's tutorial is going to try to talk about templates and we're going to try to build a simple calculator with a template in it. So include iostream, uh, our usual include library. Uh, na namespace std and now we're going to build a template so the keyword template defines a template and now um, you have these opening what's called the less than sign so here you put the name of a template is basically a series of classes but um, the cla uh, the classes is, are can be of any data type. So here you put what you're gonna temporary what you're gonna call your data type. So you can either put type name or you can put class. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. So I'm gonna put type name, and I'm gonna put my type name to be um, T. So now T is my uh, my type, whatever I define it as. I could say T is a string. I could say T is a character. I could say anything. And um, so template type name T. And uh, now we go down and say we want to write a class, right, for my calculator. So calculator. So. I wrote that un into the template. So, class calculator. Um, and now I want to say, uh, I don't know, private T A T first T second. So these are going to be my op operands, and then public I'll put so basically the only new thing is the template type name T <laughs> it just allows me to use this class with any type so well pretty much so first I'm gonna have a calculator which and uh, T first equals zero T second equals zero. So this is my uh, calculator. First equals first calculator. Second equals second. So here I defined uh, these values to be the same as I enter in here. So that's, I'm happy with that. And I'm gonna have a deconstructor calculator, which is not gonna do anything. So, okay. So now I start having my functions. My, my functions may be add, and uh, so I can have two functions add. I could overload it and have either add two numbers or add the numbers given in the first place. So I'm gonna add. Um, so it's just gonna return, but I have to put a type here. So I'm gonna put t add because t is my type. So uh, return first plus second. Oops. Okay, uh, let's make a t subtract function. t subtract return uh, first minus second. And again, we need these brackets. So t multiply return first times second t divide 
so simple we just uh, made all the functions into a template uh, turn first divided by second and now I'm gonna put a couple of others so t absolute value apps if uh, t apps will take a value for example x if x is less than zero return a negative x so I'm just gonna put it in a separate line so it'll be easier to read okay else return x so as simple as that and this is my absolute value sign and what else t uh, power t power so I'm gonna say 4 int i equals 0 i is less than second i plus plus so I'm gonna put the first uh, the first number into the power of the second so I'm gonna say actually for yes for int i mm. Or int i equals one. All right, so I'm gonna say um, here I'm gonna say uh, t sum equals zero, and here I'm gonna say oh, sorry one because we're multiplying here sum e times equals uh, first. So I'm just gonna this is gonna be my power function for return sum or return t whatever result res so this is going to be my result so return res result and um, what else let's just keep it at that for now so I'm gonna close the brackets <coughs> And that's it. I'm going to make a new int pane and I'm going to say calculator later. Now I have to specify a data type because of this template here. So I'm going to say calculator double. And now I can use my constructor. So I'm going to say first one's going to be 7.3, second number is going to be. 16.7 and now I'm going to say uh, see out the uh, sum of the two numbers is and now I'm going to say calculator uh, calculator double oh I have to define uh, my calc my calc so this is the parameters given to the function so my calc is my new calculator so the sum of is my calc add and l so now we wrote uh oops, sorry Let me just make a couple a little more space so now we wrote the function that would add my calc add and since we define my calculator to be a calculator of double uh, it already stays uh, we don't have to redefine it here because we knew we know that uh, T everywhere T is a double so double first double second whatever and let's test this out I hope I didn't make any errors well let's see uh, T absolute X return for Wait, I should put all of these T absolute TX. Uh, T add. Let's return X. 